Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of the one shot hardcore SMP. In the last episode we managed to stay alive, find an island, team up with Ryan and build up the first half of our castle. And I log on this morning and bruh, someone's gone and TP'd the entire castle. <laughs> oh no, there's brown bits on the end. Okay, okay. Right, I've got no idea who this is. But I am going to get to the bottom of this. I am going to find out. I mean, there's a lot of white wool here. Not Ryan's using a lot of white wool. Maybe I'll pay him a visit. So if he wants to help me clean this up. And if he does, he can keep all the white wool and calcite. Wait, this wouldn't be Ryan, would it? Surely not. Ryan. Down. Have you seen what's happened over there? Yes, and I just want to say, okay, I was here when it happened. But the person who done it threatened me. All right, so you saw who did it. So you know who it is. I did. And I'm going to blab straight away because I think it's awful. It was Mr. Matt Ranger. It was Matt. Again. It, it, it's Matt. He's trying to draw another wedge between us. What is with this guy? The guy's insane. He's lost his marbles. I think he has. I mean, there's literally toilet paper with brown matter on the end all over my castle. Yeah, I'm not sure what that brown matter is. Maybe uh, best ignore that. And just to get some proof that it was Mr. Matt Ranger, let's take a quick look at this. I feel it sends a very clear message. I mean, it's coming to him whether he likes it or not. And that's all the evidence I need. How about you help me clean this mess up and you can keep all the materials, seeing as you're using those materials for your castle. Let me grab some shears, buddy. All right, Ryan, thank you so much for your help, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. We've got to stick together. It's a, it's a harsh world out there. It is, it is. And we now have, you know, we now got an enemy across the pond. We do, yes. At least we're united against him. It's true. I mean, I'm sure we'll think of something to get him back. Okay, cool. I'll see you later. Bye, Ryan. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, guys. With all that toilet paper out of the way, finally, I can give you a little bit of an update about what I've been doing off camera. Some of you may already notice I've done a lot of tidying up out the front here. We had a big hole before, and I filled it all in, so we've got a nice spot for some more building. And then if we head inside here, you'll see I started building up a little storage room. I've got all our blocks organized. I've done a little bit of decoration in here. I really like how the ceiling's looking. It's looking real nice. And then just through here, I've made a little smelter system. Looking good. And then if you come through here, uh, it looks like Matt's placed a brown bed. Bruh. But yeah, this is where I got to with the decoration so far. We've still got a lot to do. I'm not too sure what to do with that yet, but I'm sure we'll get to it. But yeah, this interior is looking super snazzy. But now we've got all this extra room out the front, I think we can start planning out our new castle extension. So just like last time, I'm going to make a little floor plan and I'll bring you right back. Okay, guys, so here's the floor plan. As you can see, I sort of enclosed an area here in front of the castle. So this area can have a nice courtyard. And then this bit here is going to be the entrance. But yeah, I think it's time to get building. So here's what I got so far. This place is looking a lot more grand now, I think. Obviously, again, there's still a lot more to go, but you know, we can get it looking this detailed eventually. But yeah, I think it's going to take our castle to the next level for sure. But before we continue working on the castle, I think we need to get a little bit of payback. And we're going to get a bit of help from a certain someone. Oh, who's that? Oh, Drift. Hello. Hello. Nice to see How's you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Block, as always. Kind of just the person I wanted to see, really, because I'm having a bit of trouble with Mr. Matt Ranger over there. And I thought, who better to call over here than the prank queen herself? Yeah, you would know better than anybody else that I am indeed the prank master. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I do hold that title, yes. So I was thinking maybe this would be a really good chance for you to redeem yourself, in my books at least anyway, by helping me prank Mr. Matt Ranger over there. Right, Drift, you come out on me and I'll show you what I'm thinking. So you can see Matt over there. He's got a nice little house. It's a cute little house. It's very, it's very nice. He's got like a nice little dock going on here. The thing about Matt is he's very precious about his horse. Okay. And I think cool. maybe we just take his horse somewhere else block you're going straight for the heart here mm -hmm. i like it mm -hmm. i think it's good i'm just thinking maybe we put his horse i don't know like up there maybe oh my gosh that's really high up yeah good i want him to suffer he deserves it that's evil i love it i love your style you have a really good sense of enthusiasm on this and i'm a hundred percent down to help you oh yeah he's gonna get it i say we do this yeah let's get this guy so after a bit of discussion, we decided it'd be funny if we put Matt's horse up in the sky, sitting in a hot air balloon. And to make sure we didn't die while building it, we did it above the ocean, just between mine and Matt's base. We built up the balloon using calcite and white wool, and then we gave it structure and support using spruce trap doors and spruce stairs. Once we had this, we started building up the basket using spruce fences, fence gates, and stairs. 
and then gave it a nice trim using oak and jungle trapdoors. At this point, it was time to go back down and grab Matt's horse. I'll just chop a few of these trees first. There we go. But yeah, we made a big stone staircase just so we could ride the horse up safely. Thankfully, the horse didn't fall off. We managed to shut the horse in, get rid of the stairs, and well, yeah, here it is. Well, hopefully that'll teach Matt a lesson or two. Shouldn't get any more toilet paper on this castle, hopefully. But as you might know, as I finished putting the roof on the castle extension here, definitely making this feel a lot more complete now. And yeah, I'm super happy how that looks. I really like it. The next thing I want to work on here is the entranceway. I kind of want to put like an arch here, maybe out of spruce wood. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a 5x5 five five out of spruce logs, just like this. I say 5x5, five five, that's actually 5x3, five but that's fine. And then we'll strip all these as well. There we go. Cool, that's looking good. I think we need to do a bit of terraforming at the front here. So we'll fill this in a little bit. Awesome, that's looking much better. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace these bottom ones with barrels. Boom, and boom. And we'll try round this off with some stairs. And we'll put a door here like this. And then we'll put spree trap doors all the way around the edge. Alright, so that's what we got now. Looking a bit weird at the top, so we need to do something about that. And I think we'll do something with polished granite and the deep slate tiles. So I'm going to come up here, run the deep slate tiles along the top, and then give it a trim of this polished granite. This may not work, but we'll come down and take a look. It's okay. I think you can maybe do something a little bit more with this, though. This is just a little bit too straight, so maybe we can get some stairs in here. Right, this is looking a lot more interesting now. The trim's got a lot more shape, and we've got a bit more shape going on top of the roof as well. And I also added a few more trap doors and barrels, looking good. But I think next up, I need to add all the details to the outside. I think we're going to check that in a big time lapse again. Shouldn't take too long. There's not too much to do. Just need to add a few windows, a few leaves. So yeah, let's get that done. Right gang, here's the finished outside. This place is looking a lot better now. Got all our windows in with all the shutters and stuff. A few leaves looking nice. Yep, that's all the sides completed. Really happy with that. And if we come through here, you'll see I've been doing a little bit of work in the courtyard as well. So we've got a new dirt floor in here with a bit of spruce wood. A cute looking well. And I also checked some windows in the buildings on the inside with a few plant boxes. A few barrels and stuff. But yeah, I'm happy how this bit's looking. You know what? This bit's just missing a little bit of grass. Let's sprinkle a bit of this in here. All right, little splash of green. That's nice. I like that. But yeah, I'd say this place is looking pretty close to complete now. Ignore the interior, please. Obviously, there's a lot of work to do at the front here as well. I definitely get some crop fields in the front of the castle. Not to mention the village that me and Ryan still have to build in between our castles. Oh, Ryan's castle's looking super nice. Wow. Oh, hello. Oh, helmet. Anyway, like I was saying, this place is looking almost complete, but there is maybe one or two things I want to add. And I think to explain, we're just going to pop up here. And that is two much bigger towers. If you come back here, as you can see, everything's sitting at a pretty similar height. And I think we need maybe one or two towers peaking up to maybe about here. So yeah, maybe a tower there, a tower here. I think this one in the middle should be like the peak of the castle. But I think that's definitely the thing that we need to work on next. And I have made a little design for a tower. So what I think we might do is pop over to the creative world and take a quick look. So here it is. I think this would be a good fit for the castle. It's pretty similar to our smaller towers, but obviously on a much bigger scale. I'm hoping this is going to work real nice. But before we start building those towers, we need to meet Ryan to discuss some more plans for our island. Hello, Ryan. Hi, Blockdown. I called you here today because I wanted to talk about the lack of buildings that we've got going on on this island. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's looking a little bit bare. I don't know why, but I got this dropper and button. Okay, well, I also don't know why, but I've got these appropriately named cobblestone blocks I'm going to put in here too. I've got a fisherman's hut, a map room, a library, a blacksmith, a windmill, and a sawmill. What a coincidence. Weird. So how about we both take turns pressing the button, and whichever name pops out that we pick up, we have to build on the island. Would you like to do the honours? Sure, why not? What did I get? Fisherman's Hut, okay. Oh, Fisherman's Hut. Okay, okay, good stuff. All right then, your turn, your turn. Okay, here we go. Uh, what do we get? Oh, I got the windmill. Okay, okay. What did I get? Map room, okay. Oh, very nice. Oh, blacksmith. Sawmill for me, okay. Very fancy, I like it. Now, if I can count to six properly, I think that means there's only one left, which is the library. Okay, oh, okay. Oh, cool. Right then, I guess we've got a lot to be cracking on with now. 
Yeah, I'm super happy with that. I'm very excited to build these things. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, uh, with that done, uh, see you later. Bye. Bye. Now with that all sorted out, let's start building up these towers. Guys, that's all I've got time for today. Bye bye.